good morning students today we will be continuing with our next lecture of microorganisms and today we are going to end this chapter microorganisms spoil food bacteria and fungi are responsible for spoilage of food the soaring of milk putrefaction of meat rotting of potatoes vegetables and fruits are due to the action of bacteria growth of mold can also make food unfit for consumption yeast can also make fruit juices tomato juice etc etc unfit for consumption due to fermentation microorganisms growing on food sometimes produce toxic substances these make the food poisonous consuming such food can cause a serious illness called food poisoning food preservation how do we stop food from getting spoiled because of the growth of microorganism on it we can do this by killing the microbes in the food and stopping them from growing again these steps ensure that the food lasts a longer time without getting spoiled this is known as food preservation the following are common methods for food preservation heating heating food to a high temperature kill microbes for example milk and water are boiled to kill microbes ultra heat treatment is the partial sterilization of milk by heating it for a short time around 1 to 2 seconds at a temperature exceeding 135 degrees celsius you will uh, uht milk available in tetra packs as a shelf life of 6 months or more until opened pasteurization of milk consists of heating it to a temperature of 70 degrees celsius for about half a minute and then cooling it quickly this kills most of the bacteria without affecting the flavor this method was invented by louis pasteur cooling food stop microbes from growing and reproducing and has preserved food a refrigerator keeps food at about 5 degrees celsius and keeps it from spoiling for a few days a deep freezer preserves food at below minus 80 degrees celsius and can prevent it from getting spoiled for a few months however once the food is taken out of the freezer and warm microorganisms start growing again and so the food must be consumed soon after chemical preservatives such as sodium benzoate <coughs> and sodium metabisulfite help to control microbial growth they are used to preserve jams squashes and ketchups other preservatives that are commonly used are salt which checks the growth of bacteria by forcing microorganism to lose water by a process called osmosis it is used for preserving meat fish pickle chips etc sugar inhibits the growth of bacteria and is used as a preservative in jam jellies and squashes it also make microbes lose water by osmosis oil and vinegar provides an environment in which microorganisms can't grow they are used to preserve vegetable fruit fish meat and pickles drying or dehydration of food consists of removing water from it this stops microorganisms from growing as they can't grow without water cereal pulses spices and dry foods are preserved by this method canning canning consists of sterilizing the food and then sealing it in air tight containers this prevents it from getting spoiled for over a year so first topic is microorganisms spoil food so mainly bacteria and fungi they spoil the food okay you must be aware means which kind of microorganisms are spoiling the food bacteria and fungi they, they are spoiling the food example is concept if the milk gets soured or the potatoes get rotted they are due to the bacteria the enemy bacteria is doing some action on them and the milk gets soured and the potatoes get rotted up like this you have seen the uh, a mold develop on our bread a white white layer and it becomes and bread is known means bread will get destroyed next concept is yeast uh, yeast do the fermentation we have studied it break the sugar yeast is a microorganism which break the sugar to release alcohol and carbon dioxide so all the fruit juices 
tomato juice they are destroyed by the yeast in the by by doing a process of fermentation yeast does the process of fermentation on fruit juice and tomato juice and spoil them a fungi mold grow on the bread and destroy the bread bacteria and fungi do the storing of milk that is done by bacteria and the rotating and uh, rooting of the potatoes like this like you are seeing here a apple that is spoiled by a microorganism the microorganisms they grow on our food and on our food they produce the poisonous substances when we consume that food now when we take that food those poisonous substances they enter our body and cause the illness known as food poisoning microorganisms they produce the means they act on the food and produce the harmful poisonous substances in the food and when we take that food as means uh, as nutrition those poisonous substances enter in our body and cause illness known as food poisoning so question can be asked what is food poisoning so very means microorganism action on food produce poisonous substances we take food poisonous substances go in our body cause diseases called food poisoning so microorganisms they are spoiling the food so this is a uh, disadvantage of the microorganism the harmful effect of micro and how we can prevent the spoilage of food those methods are known as food preservation means food preservation are the methods in order to avoid the spoilage of food so note down what is food preservation food preservation include the methods which are used to prevent the food spoilage by the microorganisms in food preservation what we do either we kill the microbes this is our first target in order to avoid the spoilage of food or we have to stop their growth stop their growth either you have to kill the microorganism this is your first step we have to stop the growth of microorganisms so now again you can make a definition food preservation are the methods that are used to avoid the spoilage of food by microorganism how by killing the microorganism by stopping their growth this is the concept now we will discuss some methods of food preservation some methods what are some methods first is heating this is done by your mom daily she used to heat the milk in the night time for the preparation of curd when you are heating the food na at a high temperature the microorganisms get killed okay we are also boiling the water to kill the germs and milk is also boiled and uh, there is a name treatment name ultra heat treatment it is done in industries and milk in this uht technique the uht method milk is heated at 135 degree celsius for one and for about one or two seconds in ultra heat treatment method it is done in industries and milk is heated at 130 degree 5 celsius for 1 to 2 seconds then they are packed in uh, packs then milk then milk is packed in packs and that milk will have a life of 6 months but if it is opened it will not have a life of 6 months but it is not opened it will go for 6 months so when you heat the food the microorganism in the food get killed there is a technique name uht ultra heat treatment that is done in industries in which milk is heated at 135 degree celsius for 1 and 2 second and then packed in containers that milk will have a life of 6 months next concept is 
pasteurization of milk this is done in our homes means first we will do the heating of a food at 70 degree for half a minute and then we will cool the same food quickly in first step we will heat the food at 70 degree for one or two minutes for one minute and then cool the food quickly what will happen most of the bacteria will get killed so this method was invented by Louis Pasteur and this method is known as pasteurization of milk milk is heated at 70 degrees celsius for one minute and then cooled quickly all the bacteria get killed yeah, most of the bacteria get killed this is known as pasteurization of milk and this method was developed by louis pasteur next concept you are placing the food items in refrigerator you are doing the cooling this is also next method of heating is first method of food preservation Pasteurization of milk is second method of food preservation and cooling is third method. Cooling it stops the growth of microorganisms. We are placing food in refrigerator now. Cooling stops the growth of microorganisms. And they are not able to reproduce. The microorganism in the cooling environment the microorganisms are not able to reproduce so if microorganisms are not able to reproduce food is prevented from spoiling in refrigerator in refrigerator a very low temperatures can be provided nowadays our refrigerators are available which can provide a temperature of minus 18 degrees celsius and can prevent the food from getting the from getting from spoilage and when the food is taken out from the freezer then the at the same time microorganisms start growing again and food may get spoiled if it was not consumed that means when you are placing the food in freezer na, a low temperature is provided to food Due to that low temperature, microorganisms are not able to reproduce in low temperature. Food is prevented from spoilage. A freezer can provide up to a temperature of minus 18 degrees Celsius. Once the food is taken out, you have to cook the food. Otherwise, the microorganisms again start growing in the food and spoil the food. So this is the third method of food preservation that is cooling. The fourth method is chemical preservatives. In chemical preservatives, some chemicals are used to prevent the growth of microorganisms. Write down the name of one or two chemicals. First chemical name is sodium benzoate and sodium meta bisulfide. Sodium benzoate and sodium meta bisulfate are the two chemicals that are used in the preservation of food to stop the growth of microorganisms. They are used in jams, ketchups, and they prevent the growth of microorganisms in jam and ketchups. In home, we use other kind of preservatives. Means we are not using the chemical preservatives in home. We are using like salt. We add salt in pickles. <coughs> How? When we are adding salt in pickle. The salt, what the salt will do? Salt will lose the mean salt will remove the water from the pickle and without water the microorganism can't grow. So pickles are prevented from spoilage. We will add salt in pickle. Salt will remove the water from the pickle. If the water is removed, microorganism will not be able to grow in pickles. And pickles are prevented from spoilage. So second method is sugar. Sugar is added in jams. The same concept the sugar is doing. When it is added in jams, na, it helps to remove the water from the jam. And the growth of bacteria is uh, decreased. Sugar, when sugar is added in jams, 
it will remove the water from the jam and without water bacteria will not be able to grow in jam and jam will be prevented from spoilage third is oil and vinegar vinegar is zirka in oil microorganisms can't grow so we are adding oil in pickles because in oil environment microorganism can't grow so this is next method of food preservation by adding oil by adding salt by adding sugar and next method is dehydration of food what is dehydration dehydration means removing water from the food dehydration of food means we are removing the water from the food and without water microorganism can't grow like dry foods means they are dried and the last concept is canning what is done in canning food is packed in cans and sealed in airtight containers means food is placed in airtight in canning food is placed in airtight containers and when no air is uh, in air is air breaks the contact with the food and the growth of microorganism is prevented so many things like gulab jamuns now they are packing in cans ghee is packed in cans so many things so like this so food is placed in airtight containers and this prevents the growth of microorganisms this concept is known as canning so some questions are there we we will discuss this while making cake or tokla dokla the dough rises because of a substance that is produced during fermentation why it rises due to the carbon dioxide why does it cause the dough to rise carbon dioxide leaks through the holes of dough and make it soft and fluffy to prevent a disease caused by certain microbe doctor inject the same microbe in a person's blood what are those called vaccination how is it ensured that this prevents the disease instead of causing it what is this process of injecting microbes called you have to explain everything about vaccination b it is made from weak microorganisms injected in the human body produce antibodies and they fight with the microorganism causing the disease in the future third question microorganisms that live inside the body of animal normally cause disease how are some of them also help animals can give an example to prove this point you will say be some kind of microorganism live in small intestine which help in the digestion so like this you can give the examples pasteurization means boiling the milk to kill germs do you agree give reason pasteurization means no we will say be in pasteurization milk is boiled and then cooled quickly to kill the germs you have to add some parts here we have to take read about that so you have to complete all today your lecture is uh, you have to complete all the remaining lectures i will send you the whole lesson plan whichever question is left you have to complete it today so i'm giving you over you like what questions you can attempt at page number 34 the question 13 question 14 question 15 this is b 13 b 14 b 15 c 7th c 8th c 9th d 7th d 8th and e 4th discuss five methods of food preservation you have to discuss each and everything so with this your lesson is completed all your questions will get completed you will get the fully lesson plan photo hope you enjoy today's lecture thank you have a nice day